sense the stench of death. Your nostrils fill with the nauseating aroma of putrefying flesh. Is there a rotting corpse nearby? Or is it simply the worst smelling flower in the world? This is How to Survive, The Corpse Flower. Amorphophallus titanum, also known as the corpse flower, is native to Sumatra in Indonesia. It appears rarely, blooming for just a few days at a time, sometimes for as little as 24 hours and only once every seven to nine years. The flower can be huge, sometimes growing up to six meters tall and 4.5 meters across. It has a distinct and disgusting smell that might make you gag if you ever get near it and taking a bite out of it could leave you with stab wounds. So much for stopping to smell the flowers. How can you protect yourself from its horrible odor? Why should you fear its berries? And how could the corpse flower actually turn you into a corpse? Step one, beware the stench of death. There's a fascinating reason why this flower produces this terrible smell the central phallic spike of the plant contains thousands of tiny flowers which release the scent when heated up. This odor attracts insects that feed on carrion. While these bugs are looking for a festering flesh feast, they actually pollinate the plant. Gross. But as disgusting as this operation is, it's an amazing demonstration of the plant's ability to thrive. Because of its putrid smell, flies also tend to lay their eggs in it as they would an actual rotten meat. Sure, the flies aren't the reason why the plant is dangerous, but the fact that it's often full of maggots does make it even more revolting. Step two, don't get too close. The huge size and pungent aroma of the plant tend to draw people to it. But can you observe the flower without losing your lunch? The flower's perfume is extremely unpleasant and is often compared to rotting meat stinky cheese, and garlic. It's especially bad in hot weather and at night when the flowers are most active. So the ideal way to view a corpse flower is with the plant in a greenhouse and you outside. But if you did want to get a close-up, a dab of menthol-based lotion or vapor rub could help mask the smell. Step three, hands off. Getting a whiff of this plant is ultimately harmless but touching it is anything but. The corpse flower contains oxalate crystals. These are extremely irritating and can cause pain and swelling if they touch your skin. Its potent juices can also burn you. While the horrible stink should keep you at bay, some people may still want to make contact. If you touch the plant, wash thoroughly with soap and warm water. Step four, eat at your own risk. Despite what the smell suggests, the corms, which are like balms, and leaf stalks of the corpse flower can be boiled and eaten. They have medicinal properties used to treat fever, swelling, and diarrhea, but if not properly prepared, the oxalate crystals can cause serious damage to your mouth and throat. After all, they are the culprits responsible for kidney stones. As soon as you take a bite, the crystals can stab into you. Ever wonder what it's like to chew on glass? This can damage your mouth, causing swelling, hoarseness, and difficulty swallowing. You can alleviate the pain by rinsing your mouth and reduce swelling by enjoying a cold drink or treat. Step five, avoid the fruit. When the plant is pollinated, it produces hundreds of fruits along its large stalk. This fruit can take months to ripen as the color changes from gold to orange to bright red. While it may look enticing, it's poisonous to humans, though rhinoceros hornbill birds love them. Ironically, making this fruit is so taxing for the plant that it can cause them to die afterward. Long story short, most of the edible parts of this plant are probably more trouble than they're worth. While the corpse flower is an amazing specimen, considering the dangers and stink, it's probably best admired from a distance. It can be hard to tell what's safe to eat that grows in the ground out in the wild. Take mushrooms, for example. Some varieties can cause serious damage to you or even death. Find out more on that here on How to Survive.